Hey angels and welcome back to Shorty Creations. If you guys are new to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're not new to my channel then, you already know the vibes, bitch. You guys, I know y'all can see something new. I know y'all can see that something is different. I know you guys can see that the girl is glowing because these highlights are giving me a type of glow that I never knew I could have and I'm loving it. In today's video, I'm going to be installing this beautiful hair that I received from Yulisa Hair. A huge thank you to Yulisa Hair for sponsoring today's video and for sending me this amazing unit. So this is a 13 by four transparent lace wig. It is 180% density. It is a body wave wig. And as you guys can see, it's giving bounce, it's giving a boom and y'all can see the transparent lace okay you guys can see the transparent lace and I laid this hair to the gods I actually think this is the best insulation I have ever done with the baby hairs look at that child ah! I cannot stop looking at myself. So if you guys want to see how I installed this hair and how I got it to look so good, then continue watching because y'all are going to want some tips. Y'all going to want some ins and outs and have all of that for you guys in this video. Again, a huge thank you to you, Lisa Hair, for sponsoring today's video and for sending me this amazing hair. If you guys would like more details about this hair, it will be in my description box. And I will also include the direct link to this hair on their website because y'all, one thing I did forget to mention is that this is 22 inches but it is not giving 20 inches like this definitely has to be 28 inches because wow if you guys want to see how i installed this beautiful hair then i suggest you continue watching so the hair came in this beautiful silk bag and behind which i love has all the company details not just their social media but their contact details as well and inside the bag they gave me two flesh colored wig caps they gave me an elastic hairband to help lay down the wig i also got the silk yulisa branded hairband which helps with edges and i got a complimentary headband to help with styling the wig so this is the wig child i am obsessed period ah! i'm so happy with this wig and as you guys can see on the inside there are three clips at the back and i just wanted to show you guys the transparent lace it did come a bit pre-plugged and this is how it looks now let's get started I'm going to be taking my foundation and my foundation brush and I'm just going to be applying some foundation on the wig cap. So one thing that I've learned is that I actually put a lot of foundation, like I even push it to the back. And what I find with this is that if I want to do a side part, a middle part, there is foundation there for me to do that. So yeah i just found that this just works better and i also put some foundation in the wig as well now i'm taking my got to be glued water resistant spiking glue and my rat tail comb and i'm just going to be applying a thin layer of this in front of my hairline so i've been doing wigs for about a year now right and i've been learning i've been like looking back at my old videos and i realized that i should actually be putting quite a thin layer of this in front of my hairline and not too thick and kind of bold it from there so if i start with a thin layer i can always put another one and another layer if i wanted to hold for more than like three days so i'm just going to be applying a really thin layer of this in front of my hairline and as you guys can see i'm moving the glue around areas where i feel like it's too thick and yeah i'm kind of just playing with it and then I'm taking my hair dryer to dry the glue down. Now I dry this down until it's tacky, not completely dry. And y'all, this is not ghost bond, okay? You can't dry it down until it's completely clear because then it's like dry, like it's completely dry. Like, I don't know if I'm the only one who's noticed this, but this is not ghost bond, y'all. So once the glue is a little bit clear, but you can still see a little bit of the white, like once it gets to this level, that's when I know it's time to lay the wig down. And one thing about me, y'all, I will take off and put on until I'm happy with the placement of the wig. And I'm just gonna be going in with my finger to kind of press that lace down. And you guys will see now in a minute, I learned this new trick which is actually using your comb to lay down your wig so sometimes when you lay it down the hair does get stuck with the lace i'm sure my wig girlies know about it so kind of just going in with the comb and brushing the hair back while applying pressure onto the lace does help that i hope you guys get what i'm trying to say i hope you guys get what i mean and y'all can see what i'm doing so i'm brushing the hair back while applying pressure so that the lace can stick down without the hair sticking down as well now i'm going in with my 
olive oil mousse and i'm just going to be pushing the flyaways back because i find that again those also get stuck with the lace so i'm just pushing them back so that i'm 100 percent sure that all the hair is pushed back nothing is going to get stuck as well and then once i'm happy with everything at the back i'm just going to be going in with my hairband to lay down the wig so i leave this for about 10 to 12 minutes sometimes 15 minutes and then once the time is up then i take off the hairband Now I'm going back in with my comb just to make sure that the hair has not stuck down with the lace. So I'm just brushing the hair back to make sure that all the hair is out, nothing is stuck, nothing has glue and yeah, you can already see the difference. Going in with my cuticle scissors, I'm going to start with cutting the lace. So I do section off the lace in about four parts. And like I said, what I'm going to do on the one side, I'm going to do on the other side off camera. So now I'm just going to be cutting off the lace in a zigzag motion. Y'all have already noticed. My wig girlies notice. Zigzag motion is always the way. And I'm just going to be doing it section by section. This just makes it easier for me, especially with like a full frontal, like a 13 by 4. I just find that this is easier. I'm now sectioning off which hairs I want to use for my baby hair. I just find that doing this step before everything else just helps clear definition of what is the baby hairs and what is not. And then I'm going to be taking my IKT wax stick and I'm just going to be pushing back the hair that's not part of the baby hairs as y'all can see. Everything is pretty self-explanatory but I just wanted to also let you guys know like the tips and tricks that I've been trying. But yeah, so all the flyaways I'm pushing back and then I'm going in with my got to be glue and this is basically part of the melting process so i'm going to go back into the lace because there are parts that i've lifted that were not completely stuck down so i'm just going back into that to make sure it's stuck down and y'all can see like it's melting into my skin everything is coming together it's making sense and yeah
This last step is something I recently added to my wig laying routine. I'm gonna be using this ISO Plus spritz spray that I got from Clicks or Discam, but basically it just helps to melt everything together. So sometimes you can still see the glue on the lace and it does flake. So just using this ISO Plus spray just helps with the flaking and y'all can already see the difference. Look at it, y'all. Look at that. Best investment. so this is the complete and final look and i'm so happy with how this install turned out y'all y'all can see the baby hairs do y'all see that i don't know if y'all <laughs> y'all hate that i actually think this is my best install yet y'all can see the practice is coming in clutch the hair has so much bounce to it and i think that's my favorite part like the curls and i actually brushed out the curls with this wide tooth comb, but it's still giving bounce, it's still giving me buffer boom, it's still giving me everything that I wanted to give me, baby! We have officially come to the end of this video. A big thank you to Yelisa here for sponsoring today's video. Let me know what you guys think about this hair, let me know what you think about this color on me! I think it's giving. I think I'm definitely getting better at this like hair wig thing. I'm definitely getting better. We've come a long way, y'all. And if you guys want more details about this hair, it'll be in my description link down below. You guys can also check out Yulisa hair on Instagram and their website will be linked down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.